There are two things that would cause you to want to get somewhere as quickly as possible and be as close as possible. Either it's who you want to see or it's what's being given out. And those are the two things that are spoken about when Allah talks about Salat al-Jum'ah, the Friday prayer. Now, we're talking about the first people to get to the masjid for the regular salawat. You better believe when you go to a masjid that the people that are going to be in the first row for Jum'ah are the people that are usually there for first row Fajr and Aisha every single day, right? But the way Allah talks about how we come to Jum'ah to where at least if we're not able to do so for the other prayers for Jum'ah is very profound. Allah says, Ya أَيُّهَا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا إِذَا نُودِيَ لِلصَّلَاةِ مِنْ يَوْمِ الْجُمْعَةِ فَسْعَوْا إِلَىٰ ذِكْرِ اللَّهِ وَذَرُوا الْبَيْعِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that when the call for Jum'ah is made, rush to the remembrance of Allah and leave behind your trade. Leave behind those other things that are worldly that distract you. Focus on the Friday prayer. Ali ibn Abi Talib عنه, he once said in Jum'ah, and this is something that you rarely see, someone reminding others about the importance of Jum'ah in the Jum'ah prayer. Ali radiallahu ta'ala anhu, he once said on the pulpit in Kufa, he said that every Friday when you wake up, the devils go to the marketplace with their banners. Now remember, every single day when you go outside of your home, you're going to have a banner over your head. And that banner is either the banner of shaitan or the banner of an angel. So this is for Jum'ah. He said that there are devils, shayateen, that go to the marketplace with their banners and they try to keep people distracted with the things that are of this world so that they are delayed in coming to Jum'ah. And the angels on the day of Friday, they go to the masajid and they occupy the entrances of the masajid from the very start of the morning. And so from the morning until the Jum'ah, these angels take their posts in front of the masajid. And the Prophet wasallam said that they then start to document who is coming in accordance with how early they're coming. Al-awwal fal-awwal, first by first. So the Prophet wasallam said, the first to come on that day or those that come in the first hour between the morning and Jum'ah. And the scholars say this is referring to sunrise, shuruq, to Jum'ah. So the first to come in that first hour is like one who sacrifices a camel for the sake of Allah. And then the person who comes in the next hour is like one who sacrificed a cow for the sake of Allah. And then a person who comes in the third hour is like one who sacrificed a ram for the sake of Allah. And the Prophet kept going, describing the decrease in the reward for the person until he said Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and the person that comes right before in that last hour is like one who sacrificed a hen or an egg for the sake of Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala. Then the Prophet Sallallahu said, when the Imam rises, to the pulpit and says, Assalamu Alaikum. He said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the angels roll up their sheets. And what did the angels do? They sit and they listen attentively to the Imam as well. SubhanAllah. So if you're giving khutbah, know that you have angels that are sitting in the audience as well. So if, if you don't find people uh, very engaged with you when you're giving khutbah, there are malaika that are listening. And if you are sitting and you're distracted by the people around, you realize there are angels sitting with you as well. So it's in accordance with how quickly people get to the masjid and how they hasten to the Friday prayer. Now, the Prophet ﷺ used to give this example of uh, how people would hasten to the masjid if there were material things that were being passed out. So here you're talking about the reward, right? Why would a person miss out on the reward of Jum'ah, you know, and just fulfill the obligation by coming a few minutes late? And you see it at every single masjid, the rush in those last few minutes right before the Adhan and then the rush right before the Salah, right? It's like two rushes that are going to take place at the masjid, one right at the time of Adhan and one right before the Salah for those that are just going to just catch the Salah itself. They're going to miss the khutbah and just catch the prayer itself. If there were material things that were being passed out, if the Prophet Sallallahu said that if I was passing out meat, then the people would rush towards it. When people are uh, you know, uh, dealing with scarcity of material goods. If a marketplace announces that we've gathered, you know, all these uh, packages of toilet paper and you've got to come in the first hour to get this toilet paper, people would rush for toilet paper, right? Here you're talking about that reward from Allah and the angel standing at the door and writing in order of who came first. So that's what the reward piece. But this last piece, is something that just really, really grips me. It's a narration from Ibn Mas'ud and it's Ibn Mas'ud's words, but he could not say this 
as Ibn Taymiyyah rahimahullah says, without the Prophet sallallahu teaching this to him. The Prophet sallallahu said that every Friday in Jannah, Friday is not just a special place here. Every Friday in Jannah, the people of Jannah gather. And that's where all of the people of Jannah at least would see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala once a week on the day of Friday. Some people see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala more frequently than others in accordance with their station in Jannah. Some people see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala twice a day. Some people can look up in Jannah and see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah grant us the highest level. Allahumma ameen. So when it comes to Fridays in Jannah, the people gather in the souq of Al-Jannah, in the special place in Al-Jannah, every single Friday and all of Jannah is special. And the Prophet Sallallahu said, and Allah Azza wa Jal addresses all of the people of Jannah on the day of Friday. And, he's, and, and Ibn Mas'ud radiallahu ta'ala anhu narrates that those that are closest to Allah, those that have the front row seats, those that are closest to Allah on Friday are in accordance with how, how quickly they hasten to the masjid on Friday for Jum'ah. So the closer that you are to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is de determined by how close you were to the Imam when you came to Jum'ah, not physically, but how quickly you got to the masjid. And yes, when you come to the masjid, don't take a wall unless you need to take a wall because you've got back issues. Don't be that person that's gonna sit back. Sit attentively as if you are in Jannah and you're trying to get as close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on the day of Friday as possible. And for those that, you know, that are not gonna be close to the Imam for whatever reason, right? It's not about, as Ibn Mas'ud radiallahu anhu narrates, it's not the physical space that makes you close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Jannah on Friday. It's the time that you got to the masjid. So whoever you are, get to the masjid as early as you can on Friday. And by doing so, you express to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that you don't just wanna be in the angel's roll book that Friday, but you wanna be closest to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as possible every Friday in Jannah.